in your studies and, and research, have you found that we can kind of get some of that back if we, if our diet doesn't start to improve till maybe we're 40 or 50 years old? You know, is that, can we, can we help ourselves then or do we really need to start when we're younger? Well, I think uh, the short answer to that to that question is yes, we can unwind the process, uh, but you do have to know what your goals are and how to get there. And, and let me explain, if I might. Mm -hmm. If we eat a meal, our body acutely or immediately uses some of the calories or some of the energy in the food that we eat. But since we only eat two or three times a day, we go through periods of the day where we're burning calories and we're not eating. So the body, when we eat a meal, uses some calories and it stores many of the calories in fat cells. And that's a normal process to be released later, two or three hours later, when we're using calories but we're not eating. And if that process unfolds appropriately, meaning the fat cells release the calories when they're needed, our bodies stay thin, we don't get hungry, and obesity and brain problems are not an issue. However, what happens under this scenario? We eat a meal, we burn some of the calories, and we store the remainder of the calories in our fat cells. And then a couple of hours go by, and the fat cells refuse to let go of those calories. Now, that's what I call sticky fat cells. If that happens, the brain senses an energy shortfall sends out a hunger signal and we eat or even overeat before we've even used up the calories from the prior meal. That's really the connection between bellies and brains. So I think that gets us to another topic. What's the best way to lose weight? And I would argue based on the brain-belly connection, cutting back calories is a solution that's doomed to failure. What we need to do is make food choices that prevent the development of sticky fat cells. If we do that, we don't get hungry, we don't overeat, and weight loss is easy.